So let's say we use the formula for bearing. Reformation. So that is 2.4 TTFU. So we have 2.4, 24 times thickness times 400. Therefore, the nominal strength for bolts 4 to 9 is 576 kN. Okay? So all in all, if we're going to compare the demand and the capacity. So for the capacity, we get the total nominal strength of the bolts. So for bolts 1, 2, and 3, the strength is 438. So we need to multiply this by 3 because we have 3 bolts, 1, 2, and 3. And then for bolts 4 to 9, the strength is 576, so we have to multiply it by 6. And do not forget the factor of safety for bearing, that is also 2. Therefore, we have, that is 2385 kN. Okay? This is the maximum value of T that can be applied without failure of bearing on the plate. And that is letter C. By the way, some authors like McCormack simplify the calculation of the bearing strength for the bolts. So as you can notice, based on this calculation, the strength of bolts 1, 2, and 3 is different from the strength of bolts 4 to 9. Okay? But when computing for the reaction of the bolts, the applied tensile load is simply distributed in all the bolts. So meaning, in simplifying the reaction for the bolts, the reaction in each bolt should be equal. So therefore, instead of using different strengths for the bolts, some authors like McCormack use only one capacity in bearing for all the bolts. And that is the lesser between the two. We have a capacity of 438 kN from bolts 1, 2, and 3. So that will be used already for all the bolts in order to simplify the calculation. Therefore, using that logic or using that concept, T is less than or equal to 1,971 kN. If that is the case, the answer will be letter A. Problem 6, find the maximum value of the tensile load T that may be applied based on the overall strength of the connection. So when we say overall strength of the connection, we will consider all the limit states that we have computed. First is the tensile yielding. Second is tensile rupture. Next is block shear. Next is bolt shear and then the bolt bearing. And then we tabulate all the corresponding value of T that we have computed based on these limit states. Okay, so this is now the tabulation of the values of T that we have computed based on the limit states. So for yielding, that is 1485. For tensile rupture, that is 1565. For block shear, that is 1759. Sorry, I have a typo error for bolt failure. Comparing the value of T for shear and bearing for the bolts, the governing is 954. So overall, to give an answer for the value of T, considering the overall strength of the connection, we will choose the least among these all limit states. And that is 954. Newton, and that is letter C.